Everyone looks gangly and weird. We've all grown. Okay, we're back. The Mysterious Benedict Society season two. It's very different than the first season. There's a lot of comedy. It's visually stunning. It also has a lot of action. We're on a ship. We travel around Europe. In season one, we were introduced to these characters. And so season two is about how we are as a family. But then very quickly, we're separated again. Where are your parents? We're lost. Season two starts off with the kids all reuniting because Mr. Benedict has organized a scavenger hunt for them. But what ends up happening is Mr. Benedict and number two go missing. He made us a set of clues to lead us to where he is. So good to see you, brother. Also, we find out that Curtin is at it again, using happiness as a weapon. Aren't the ups and downs what make us human? No, I think that's your inner naysayer. You see the manipulation of Curtin because it's not real happiness. He's selling this artificial happiness. For me, true happiness is listening to music. I think I'm definitely the most happy when I'm like hanging out with my friends. Playing video games, going to school. I usually jump or just run around. <laughs> I believe that one of the reasons that this is such a beautiful family show is that it really holds the interior emotional life of these children as a sacred place. So we're capable of doing anything. We're the mysterious Benedict Society.